Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Or if you are new to my channel, hello, I am Tara Creel. Be sure to subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me. Take a look around my channel, see if you like it, whatever. But on Facebook and Snapchat, I asked you guys if you were interested in hearing an update on kind of what I'm doing post 21 Day Fix Extreme and Countdown to Competition Meal Plan. And it was kind of like an overwhelming um, general consensus that people wanted to see that video so that is what I'm giving you today the day or the day before or the day of that I finished my husband and I signed up with a membership at the gym and I have been going to the gym ever since so I came off of the 21 day fix extreme loving my results feeling really good on the meal plan just feeling good in general and I knew that I wanted to keep up with a plan like that so I kind of went into like bikini competition prep mode basically that means that I decided I was gonna go do workouts, um, not just go into the gym and hit random machines and hit random muscles. I was going to plan it out every single day and see how far I could push myself with weight, just with reps, just challenging, my, challenging myself in ways I never have before. So I have been hitting the gym every single day for the past probably four weeks, I think it is, and minus one day I miss for Thanksgiving, and usually I take Saturday and Sunday off. I have also done some two-a-days. It is getting hot. I'm gonna take this jacket off. All right, moving on. And in terms of diet, I'm kind of doing like flexible dieting. I am mainly eating like the same chicken, vegetables, that kind of idea. Um, but I have been like eating out and I've been eating at raw, vegan friendly, vegetarian friendly restaurants and eating healthy meals. I haven't gone back to binging or just eating whatever I want whenever I want. I've relaxed a little bit. I'm not eating a whole lot of junk because honestly I really don't want it. Um, I am eating treats, I'm just not, I don't crave them like I used to. I'm gonna insert progress here, I'm gonna overlay the video, but in terms of my body, it's, it's kind of a, <laughs> once you start trying to lose weight or trying to get fit, you're never like happy with where you are. You always want to improve on something no matter what. That doesn't mean you don't appreciate what you have already or that you're not happy with the progress that you've made, but you will always find things that you want to improve on. So it's been kind of like a mental battle because one day I'll look in the mirror and I'll see so much progress and I'm so excited and I'm motivated. And then the next day I feel like nothing is happening or I'm not progressing as fast as I would like. So it's definitely a mental struggle. Yesterday I was working lower body, so legs, hamstrings, glutes, and I asked my husband to record a video, which I will insert here, of me doing single leg, single leg deadlifts because I wanted to see if I was making any progress in the hamstring area. And I have been working hamstrings almost every single day, probably to the point of overworking them, um, but if not every day, at least like three, four times a week and really dialing in on them like twice a week. So that, I'm working so hard on that because I've never had definition back there and I that's the area that I want to improve on the most. But so he took that video and he saw me in the gym later and he's like, are you disappointed? Like what's going on? And I told him yes. But it wasn't until I got home that I told him exactly why I was feeling so discouraged. I wasn't feeling discouraged that I couldn't see my hamstring or that it wasn't as big as I wanted because I know that progress has happened. I've seen my legs, I see definition, I know it's happening and I'm, you know, I'm used to this. I know it takes time, I'm not in a rush. But what I'm discouraged about is I 
I'm kind of like guessing at what I'm doing at this point. I don't really know exactly what I need to be doing to get the results that I would like to achieve because I know the basics. I know how to lose weight. I know how to eat healthy. I know how to gain muscle. I know how to lift. I know how to improve on strength, but I've never like really had a goal and a purpose in mind with my workouts on how exactly I want to shape my body and what area I really need to work on to you know be equal to the rest of my body and now that I have that I'm feeling discouraged because I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm eating enough. I don't know if I'm eating too much. I don't know if I'm eating enough protein. I don't know if I'm doing enough cardio. I don't know if I need to be doing more cardio, less cardio. So like I said, it's kind of just a guessing game. Speaking of cardio, I'm also doing 20 minutes, usually 25, 30 minutes of cardio per day. For the past week and a half, I've been doing the stair mill or stair master for 20 minutes a day and I increase the um, intensity the longer I'm on it so that's been my cardio before that it was sprints I was doing one minute on one minute off and do that over and over and over and over again so that's where I'm at with cardio that's really kind of it I feel like today the video and the pictures that I took don't really do justice because I look in the mirror and I see so much definition of progress happening and then I looked back at those and I'm like I, I don't know what's going on. So again, it's just a mental battle. You know, I don't know. It is what it is. I'm loving it though. I'm feeling, this I feel like is the first time I've been this motivated for so long. Like it's not difficult to be motivated to work out. I just go there every day as soon as I drop my kids off. So I am at the gym by 8 a.m. and I get my workout in. I go home, take a shower, and then tend to the rest of my duties in the day. So it's been working for me. I'm gonna show you really quick the app that I'm using and the current plan that I'm doing. So I'm gonna zoom on into my phone so you guys can get an idea of all of that. All right, so the app that I'm using is Body Space and it is the app that is synced to bodybuilding.com. So that's where people that are kind of really serious about fitness or bodybuilding go to to log their workouts and all that kind of stuff. So um, if you see, the program I'm doing currently is the Jamie Eason's Live Fit Live Fit Trainer. And it's a really, really popular one. You've probably heard about it. You might have seen it. That is what I'm currently doing. It tells you, um, you know, it's 12 weeks total, an average of 5.5 days a week, average workout time, 48 minutes, which I usually get the workouts done in about 37 minutes and then do 20 minutes of cardio. Um, total time per week, it tells you total cardio per week. So it tells you about that and then it breaks it down into like, when you'll be working out and what workouts you will be doing. I can go to body calendar and it will tell me what workout I have scheduled for the day. So that is the workout that I did. This is out of focus. That is the workout that I did today. You see it's checked off so that means it's already done. I can view the log and see the workouts I did. So these are all the moves that I did today and then I added on the step mill because you can add workouts to that. So it's nice because it tracks all your workouts, it tracks the exact like number of weight you have lifted in total. I have lifted 176,000 pounds. This number is a bit off. I don't know what's happening, but some days my workouts haven't been logged. Um, you can do photos, so like you can keep track of your progress here, which is nice, and that's pretty much it. People add you as friends. And then it's also nice because every week it shows you your activity, it shows you how you rated your workouts, what muscles you worked, how much cardio you did, how many like personal records you hit. Um, and so that's pretty cool. It gives you a breakdown of your workouts, which is motivating for me because it tells me like you had an awesome shoulder week. Yay! Thanks bodybuilding. So that is about it. That's what I'm doing for right now. I will probably stick with this program for the next eight weeks or so, but we will see. I'm just kind of trusting the process right now and not getting too down on myself because it is really easy to think that you haven't made enough progress and I know that I have and I'm just being hard on myself. So 
If you guys have any advice or, I don't know, certain resources that you like to look at when you're like keeping goals in mind, let me know. I would love to hear them. Please let me know if you are enjoying seeing some of my workouts I'm doing at the gym. I also post those on Facebook and I'm posting daily for daily accountability on Snapchat so you guys can find me there. And also be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos that are health, fitness, beauty, lifestyle related. We do it all here. We love it all. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.